Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the switch uh, statement that I forgot to mention. So let's uh, start. Uh, it's very simple. Okay, you just uh, need to create a flow to use the switch statement. So let's just start by creating number. This number will be equal five. Okay. And let's use the switch statement. So the switch statement uh, works uh, very in a very simple way. Okay, we pass a variable, we call switch, and we pass a variable. We do not semicolon. We open and close open uh, curly brackets. Okay, so uh, the switch statement is very similar to the if statement, but there's the difference that instead of using if and one condition, we're gonna use the switch, uh, we use something called a case, okay? And then we're gonna use a value. In this case, uh, we are working with integers that just pass a number. So if I pass one, actually zero, I can now write some code over here. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna type zero this way okay we're gonna need to use a break statement to return this break is a keyword that means uh, return and I can do a case um, one console dot right line one okay and break so if I run this I'm gonna see that I don't have uh, a case where number is equal to either uh, of one of these values okay so to do that I'm gonna ch change this to 5 so because the case 5 do exist okay I'm gonna see this 5 printed on the screen as you guys can see so there are a couple of things that you guys need to be aware of uh, for instance if I remove this break and this break the code will show yeah the compiler knows that i i've i need to put a break a statement if not the compiler would not will not compile this code okay so you guys need to be aware of this and uh, if you don't have a case you guys should use the default keyword which uh, shows a default message okay so if on of if any of those uh, statements above doesn't match uh, we're gonna use the default okay so let me just uh, type over here I'm gonna put a tree here let's run so I'm gonna call I'm gonna fall into the default uh, case okay so very simple okay we're gonna you usually would uh, wouldn't use this but there are some cases where this would be very useful and you guys can see that sometimes it would be a better approach than using if okay so this is the video guys apply see you guys next time